I know you won the title recently, um, which is a tough thing to do. Tell me what makes NEPSEC AA so special. Man, uh, top to bottom, it is strong. There's no nights off. Um, and um, I would say we have a very, and you've seen this based on your other previous po- episodes of the podcast, we have a very strong coaching group um, in terms of, I mean, they're, guys have great resumes and they're great coaches, but we're a pretty tight knit group for a fairly large group of a conference. You know, I mean, there's, we just had some new schools join us. So I think our new count is maybe 16. Who just joined? Um, St. George's oh, in sure. Port Rhode Island and the Darrow school. That's just outside of Albany, New York. Um, so they, they joined us and we might have another coming back in maybe. Um, but coaches are a tight knit group. I mean, we, uh, we zoomed a bunch of times during the pandemic. We didn't have a ton to talk about. Um, and it, it just kind of becomes like a coaches, uh, like a, a round table, uh, a lot of jokes, um, at each other's expense sometimes, but, um, I'll be honest. I, I tell some of my friends and coaching that are outside of NEPSAC. I've, um, I can remember watching the 30 for 30 on a uh, Requiem uh, of the Big East that uh, ESPN put out years ago. And it's a classic one. If you haven't seen that one, it's great. And they, they really talk about the personalities of the coaches that helped to really get the Big East kickstarted because you had Roley Massimino, John Thompson, Luke Carnesecca, UConn coming up with Jim Calhoun, Coach Bayham at Syracuse. And, you know, Rick Patino was at Providence. I mean, PJ Carlissimo at Seton Hall, like a who's who, you know, I mean, there's a lot of hall of famers in that group that I just mentioned. They might be all hall of famers. Um, and on a lower level, right. Like, uh, you know, not as much stardom, but we have meetings that I swear to you, I wasn't at those big East meetings in 1985, 1986, but I, I got to bet that they are very similar. <laughs> Um, a lot of jokes. Sometimes, uh, there has to be a a little bit of refereeing, you know, it's all, but we all come back together and it's all good because what I love about our group of coaches is it's all about trying to make our league stronger slash. We're never going to shortchange the kids. Um, and those two things really go hand in hand because we know as the strength and the perception of our league grows, so does the opportunity for the kids. Mm-hmm. And that is great. And I, I'll say this, as true as I've said anything, every single coach in our league, I can tell you, I know wants the best for their kids first before anything else. And, um, and we, we have a special group of coaches. And I, I enjoy our league calls. I enjoy our league meetings um, most of the time. And, uh, and, they're, and they're good guys. But from a basketball standpoint, uh, like getting on the floor, um, you can watch some double A games and you can compare them to like high level college basketball games. You know, you could go to a NESCAC division three high level NESCAC basketball game, you know, maybe between Amherst College and Williams or something of the like with guys that will play professional basketball. Or you could go to a, you know, low major division one game, maybe in the NEC or something like that. You're going to watch some NEPSAC basketball, some double A basketball, that the competitive, the competitiveness in the game and the amount of talent makes you feel like you're watching a college basketball game. You don't get that from a lot of high school games. No. And I also think the thing that we do um, playing 18 minute halves is something kind of unique. Um, I, I wish we could play 20, you know, but 18 you know, we're close. And that, that also gives you a college feel because I go to, you know, I, I go to recruit high school players at, you know, public high schools, Massachusetts, Connecticut, wherever it might be. And I watch eight minute quarters sometimes without a shot clock. And I'm like, man, oh man, I, I could not imagine right now, knock on wood, I could not imagine trying to coach in that game format. And, and so I come back here and 
you know, I get to work with our players and I get to coach in these games against these other great coaches, players, and with 18 minute halves and a 30 second shot clock and three referees out on the court. And I think to myself, I'm a lucky basketball coach Mm -hmm. because double A provides you a ton of talent, a college game format and coaches that these guys have full-time jobs, just like I do at their schools and their coaching jobs. I know just like mine feel like full-time jobs. I feel like, you know, I, in a a good way, I feel like I have two full-time jobs. 